Okay, so here we are, and we're in Pop OS. Now, I have to say, out of all the Linux, Linux installations I've put on my machine during this journey to make sure everybody can get Resolve on Unix, this is the nicest looking operating system. It's really reminiscent of like Mac OS or something. It's got some really great features. Uh, show launcher. Uh, what have we got? It works, show workspaces. That's me with OBS. And then you've got these. It's sort of really, it's a really nice system and it looks nice. Some of the, I'm going to be insult a lot of people here, but some of the other Unix and GUIs look a bit scrappy. I know this is apparently quite old, um, but yeah, and you've got Pop Shop. I mean, it's made by, created by a group, checking for updates, checking for updates going on home. Yeah, Pop Shop. This is made by, is it System76? I think it is. The, they make, um, uh, make PCs, they build PCs and they're very good. They make PCs with it. And this is basically their OS that they tweak and tune and put on their systems. But as it's Linux, they allow for you free. So I've done the same thing again on this. So you can get um, um, DaVinci Resolve on it. And it's a script again, which I'll put a link in the description. So files, and it's the same if you watch this for the other OSs for, for like Mint and Unterbund, this is the same thing. So you're going to download and what you need to have, you don't need that. You need to have your DaVinci Resolve installed a zip, the pop dr script here, okay, is all next to it. And then we'll launch a terminal window. If you watch any of my other videos, this is exactly the same procedure. And obviously the thing about Pop! OS is it's designed, very much designed for like creative use, scientific use, gaming use. So it comes, you can download a version. I've got an NVIDIA card in this that's already got the, all the NVIDIA cards built in and they release them updating them. So it's much easier to keep it top of it. Plus it, it really is nice. I've sort of switched from Mint to use this as my day-to-day. -day. I've put it on my laptop as well. It's really nice. Anyway, so same thing again with this. chmod plus x and then we drag down our file, pop it in there, it'll go, there it is. Drag down our file, put it there, and we give it permissions to run. Okay, so now we can run it. Now, I've already got Resolve installed on here, so this should basically overwrite my installation, but you should see the same, similar things, put that there. And then that should run, he says. Okay, so password for Gavin. Okay, so it's gonna download, see what it needs. And it's got everything it needs already because obviously I've run it, but it'll download all the bits you need. And then it'll inflate, as you can see, it's going to inflate DaVinci Resolve here. And then basically, give it a second, let it do its thing. This is a nice interface. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by um, a nice interface. A beautiful background there, but it is a nice interface. It's like, it's like a Linux has always been a bit of a funny one. Um, I mean, Antibon's, it's a bit, I don't know, uh, Mint's, okay, Zorin's, mm, but this is really looks like it's been put together well. So hats off to uh, System76 who did this. I mean, it's really, it's really slick. It's really slick. And it's a much more sort of like a, a, a proper alternate operating system. Come on, see it's inflating, doing its inflation thing. Good, there we go. And it was blue, it blitzed through all that. So now it's just for me to install it. I'm going to click install, reinstall it. I'm going to reinstall it. And then I'm going to click next. And then agree. Start install password. A blitz along there. Do that bit. Now, hopefully it's, I've activated this already, so hopefully it won't obliterate my activation cube. We can just launch straight into it and just grab a bit of media and we can go from there. So I've got the late, yeah, you need the latest version of Linux DaVinci Resolve. You can download the zip, you pop it there, don't unzip it. And then you download this and it has to be in the downloads folder, otherwise the script won't work. And it's doing it, it's doing it. Come on, you can make it. nearly it might not show the launch it may not show the startup screen you know the bit where it asks you to configure it come on 99 percent. just wait for finish to pop up down here and we've cracked it okay password again 
Now, what you may see when this does install, you see the application up here with locked. You need to right click it. Um, I think if you look at my Unterbond version of this installation, there we are, finish. And it's done. So now, normally up here, you'd see it would be locked. You have to right click it. And I think it's like launch. I don't know who it is. Launch using, don't allow launching. Allow launching. It would be, you have to switch that. So I'm going to fire this up, see if it works. Here we are, we're in. It should skip that first screen because I've, I've installed this before, but you get the normal loader. In it goes. Untitled project. We're up. Media. Uh, I'll put some media in this folder. Komodo. Let's put that in there. Change frame rate. Yep. And we've got a bit of red media in here. An auditorium. Let's do a timeline. Create a new timeline. Create. Edit. That's quicker jumping between there. There we go. It's all in here. Mute that. And then clips. Now, as it's the full version, we should be doing and see how we can deliver. Let's go to have a look. What have we got? Quick time. 8265 on compressed. We've got MP4 on here. MP4 AV1 NVIDIA. Yeah, so you can you jump straight into the NVIDIA encoders and stuff like that. I wonder what it starts about. You've got no ProRes export on this. You've only got quick time. You've got have a DNX, which is fine. Absolutely fine. And if you see what you want in other videos, if you absolutely have to deliver in ProRes, you can put um, Lightworks on here. And Lightworks will um, allow you and with the DNX loader. And then you can um, load into Lightworks and export as ProRes. So there we go. Let's just have a check of the settings. Cancel. There we go, uh, preferences, and we've got memory GPU CUDA. Yeah, this is an old Mac 5.1 with a RTX 460 running in it. So we've got full use of the neural engines and everything like that. Save, and that's it really. Quit, and there you go. Save, and call that test. Save, and there it is. That is how you install very quickly, DaVinci Resolve, with all its dependencies, it needs to run on Pop OS, which has become, I think, my favorite Linux installation. Anyway, thanks for watching.